So here we are. I'm going to give this one try and uh, see if anyone's got any ideas for me here on this uh, John Deere. So quick story, uh, last fall I, I acquired two exact um, John Deere 240s and um, so they were sitting in the back of this yard where this guy that I know bought in town, he, he bought the property, bought the house. Um, the old guy that lived there had these tractors sitting out in the backyard for years. Uh, he said one of them, you know, was missing a lot of parts, uh, was in really rough shape, worse than this. Um, that was his parts mower. And uh, he said this one is still good. But it needs a coil. It's got no spark. So um, I was over there picking up a car in the neighborhood. This guy came over and said, hey, I know you pick up cars, but would you be interested in these tractors? And I said, yeah, of course. So he told me a little backstory on them. And he said, you know, you can have them. I don't want them. I'm never going to touch them. You do whatever you want. Uh, scrap them, fix them, sell parts, whatever. So I said, oh. Okay, now, over the years, I've got many of these lawn tractors, snow blowers, lawn mowers, you know, weed whackers, all that type of stuff, and nothing really ever panned out, you know, on something that was good enough to keep and run. I never had good luck with them, especially lawn tractors. I always wanted one just for the stupidness of it to ride around and act stupid, but, um, you know, don't really have enough grass to even justify having one. Uh, you know, I have a couple of push mowers that work. Um, so I got both of them back here and I started just kind of looking them over and, um, you know, this one was very, very dirty. Uh, you couldn't even tell the yellow. It was just they were sitting under trees, and um, so I started kind of looking at it, and I hooked up a battery. It cranked over. It's not seized. Um, it's got the Kawasaki FC420 overhead valve, uh, whatever. So, you know, a little oil filter on it. It's a pretty big tractor, I mean, for a lawn tractor. It's got... You know pretty big tires on it and stuff and, um, so I got looking at it and you know it appeared to be all complete the other one like I said was missing a lot of parts but it had a few good ones on it anyway so I decided to one day uh, this was like I said last fall uh, I was starting to get chilly out starting to get the end of the season so I was like you know I gotta decide what I'm gonna do because with the snow and stuff around here, I gotta figure out where I'm gonna put it, and uh, I can't have stuff like this in the way, especially two tractors. Do I store them in the backyard and hang on to them, or uh, do I just get rid of them? I don't know. So I had to dive into it and sort of start, you know, seeing what was going on. So I decided to check Spark, and to my surprise, it had spark. So, okay, well, it tells me it doesn't need a coil. So, then I started, you know, uh, giving it some, you know, giving it some gas and stuff like that. It was missing this, this air filter. A um, few other things. I noticed the fuel pump on the other one looked brand new, so I decided to change that over. Um... So I got it to fire up off of, you know, spraying in the carb anyway, and it was firing up. So I said, wow, this thing ain't far from running anyway. I don't know where, it, if any of the other stuff works, you know, as far as does it drive, does it, does it spin blades? I don't know, but at least we'll see if it runs for the hell of it. And uh, so I got to the point of, I said, well, it seems like the gas in the tank is no good smelled real bad so I pumped all that out and I got fresh gas running through it 
And all of a sudden, the thing fired up, sat there and idled. I couldn't believe it. You could just hit the key, start it up. So I was all happy about it. And I went inside. Uh, it was about the end of the day. and Had a beer. I came back out. I said, I'm going to... I'm going to put some air in the tires and, uh, you know, maybe power wash this thing off and take it for a little spin around and see if the blades work, whatever. So I come back out, I crank and crank and crank, can't get the thing to start now. So it was really pissing me off. So I end up, it gets to the point where it's trying to start, but it's backfiring. I mean, shotgun blast. To where, you know, I got a couple of messages from a couple of neighbors wondering what the hell it was. So, uh, I gave up at that point for that night. And, um, I started watching a few YouTube videos on these. And a guy who does, uh, you know, DIY, you know, repairs and stuff. And, um, he's, he, uh, was having the same exact thing would happen with his. It would start up, kind of run, and then backfire. And uh, he simply, his, his answer at the end was he changed the spark plug to a different number, different part number. And the thing started up and he was riding it around his video, same tracker. So I said, wow, well, for, you know, three, four dollars off of Amazon, you know what? I'm going to try it. So I went right on, do, 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 give me the spark plug that he got. I'm going to do the exact same thing that he did and see. So a couple of days later, spark plug comes, screw it in, vroom, that thing fired right up and ran beautiful. So at that point, I was like, okay, I power washed the whole thing down, cleaned it all up. And I said, okay, now we got something. Uh, I was riding it around, all the gears. So then I couldn't figure out, because I've never had one like this, I didn't know it had that electronic thing that turns on the, the, the blades, and uh, I did hit the switch over here, but nothing had happened. Turns out there was just some shit bound up in there, probably on the belts or whatever, and um, so I watched another video, and the kid said, yeah, you just turn the switch on and turn the blades. Like I said, I uh, worked on a lot of them, but never had a jump gear like this. So I came out, fired it up, hit the switch, the blades worked, I was mowing grass, shooting leaves, dog shit everywhere, whatever. So I said, okay, well, I took off a couple more parts off the other one and I said, there's no use in me keeping this, but somebody might want it to put together, because, you know, it was complete, just in a lot rougher condition than this one, and, uh, I clicked a picture, I put it online uh, the day after, a guy came, was happy with it. I think I got a hundred bucks for it. Uh, he put it on a trailer and he left. He was happy as hell. He wanted this one too. I said, nope, I'm going to keep this one for now. So then, so then it turned into, now it's winter. It's time for it to snow. I got to get it out of the way. So I started it up. I drove it out back. I parked it way in the back next to the fence on the grass and shut it off. Shut the fuel off. So there we are. As you've seen in the start of the video, I said, well, the snow is finally melted in the backyard. It's not all soft mud. Let's see if we can do a cold start, an old start, sitting all winter. I mean, the battery I put in it is from a, us. Uh, it's, a, it's a small car battery that I just, it fit right in the box. And, uh, and I put new ends on it, made it top post, and I uh, figured, whatever, it's a battery, right? I had no idea, you know, if that battery was going to be last the winter and how cold it gets up here. And as you've seen, that was me just getting on it, and that was the first start of uh, technically spring, even though it's still chilly. Uh, it fired right up on choke. I drove it once around the yard like you've seen. Uh, it, it sounded like it ran out of gas and it died. And I said, well, 
Did I forget to turn the gas on? No. Nope. So I turned the, I made sure that was on. Um, so here we are, and we're finally getting to the point where I'm at. I messed with it in the yard. I, I took off the line here. When you crank it, you're getting fuel pumping from the little pump here. It's coming right out. Take the line off the carburetor. It's fuel coming right out. But the fuel is not getting into the bowl of the carburetor. You take off the bowl off the bottom here, there's no gas in it. Nothing. Dry. So I'm saying, what is obstructing it? Now, if I take brake clean, car cleaner, gas, whatever you want, and I put it right in there, it fires right up. And it runs off of that, what I put in it. But it will not accept fuel through here. So what is this? I don't know. This little solenoid thing on the bottom of the carburetor. I have no idea what it is. Maybe you do. Uh, it clicks. You got the key on. You plug that on. You can hear it click. They say online that's it's working. So I took off the bowl of the carburetor. Filled it up with gas. Put it back on. Started it up. Then sat there and idled. As soon as it ran out that was it. Shut off. I take this line off. I put gas in here. I fire it up. The gas is pumping right out of the line onto the floor. Fuel coming from the tank, coming through the filter, coming through the pump, into this hose. But it's not getting from there into the bowl of the carburetor to make it run. So I said, something's got to be obstructing it in there, right? So I take the whole carburetor right off. Take it right off my hand. I take that little, that little um, inlet where the fuel line goes on. Shove a piece of wire in there, small wire. Goes through. I spray brake, uh, car clean in there. Clean it all out. Shoot it through. I even took the air hose. Gave it a little shot in there. Maybe something's in there. Put it back together. It does the same exact thing. That's where I'm at. And this is my last. This is it. Because in, in, in my life now. With the age I'm at. I don't let things mess with me. There's things I have sentimental value for. You know. Um old Chevy trucks, my Suburban, stuff like that, obviously I never get rid of for a stupid problem, but those are just tap key. I mean, it's never any problem. But something like this, I'm not going to let it get to me anymore. It's wasted too much of my time. It's caused me aggravation, and all it is is a stupid lawn tractor, but everything works on it. I mean, I was riding it up and down the street. This thing flies. I mean, it's got like six speeds. I was going up and down the road. Neighbors were getting a good laugh out of it. It was 100% free. I mean, I paid nothing for it. The only thing I did was buy this off a guy on eBay. Uh, used air cleaner assembly that it was missing. This, I think, was like... 25 bucks or something like that and uh, a spark plug so I said well springtime comes I might look for a better seat or I might just try to tape that up and uh, you know what I might go down to tractor supply and get some John Deere green some John Deere yellow I might give it another coat of paint right maybe I Put it online for some crazy price. If somebody wants to buy it, there you go. If not, I keep it around. I don't mind having it around. Maybe get a little trailer, tow some shit around the yard. You never know what I might do. So, 
There you go. Uh, I guess we'll uh, we'll show you what it does anyway. Gas. Key on. That's where I'm at. I hate to order another carburetor and just figure out that that's not what it is, but it seems like at this point, if I cared enough, that's probably what I'd do is try to get another carburetor for it and try it. But again, I'll just tell you again, this is what's going on. Fuel, plenty of pressure, so don't say fuel pump, fuel filter, because the filter's back here. It's coming into the pump. With this line off, in fact, I'll even show you. Just for the hell of it, I'll show you. Come right out. Pumping fuel into this rubber line that I have taken off and made sure that there is no obstruction in this rubber hose here. This is actually a new piece that I put on because the old hose was all dry rubber. Goes through what a foot? A foot of hose. It goes into the inlet of the carburetor. Give you a little close up. Nice clean engine, Kawasaki, fuel pump. You saw the gas coming right out of here, okay? Pumping into this hose, going into the inlet for the carburetor. It is not getting past there. How is that possible? I thought maybe this thing, what is this? I don't know. I took this wire off. I jumped power. Oh yeah, I did, right to this solenoid. I was trying anything. It clicks on and off, on and off. I tried starting it with that, straight power. Nope. I took the whole carburetor off. There you go. Decent tires, just uh, the paint just baked right off. Of course the seat, they all are like that. Headlights work. Everything works.
I know there's probably a lot of you out there that mess with these things, small engines, stuff like that. So uh, if you got any ideas for me, let me know. Probably going to look and see how much a carburetor is. I mean, I hate to give up on stuff, but this is just kind of getting ridiculous. It's, uh, you know, kind of laughing at myself here with this thing. So, um, I don't know. At this point, I hate to do it, but it's either take a picture, put it online, you know, 200 bucks runs when you fucking, you know, when you spray fuel in there. And, uh, and then someone's going to get it probably, you know, another small engine guy from town or something. And he's going to be laughing because he's just going to do a little something and uh, he's going to have a nice running tractor. But uh, it's either I do that or uh, next load of scrap that goes down. That's it. Push it off and just be done with it. So... Appreciate you listening to me and watching, and uh, if you got any ideas, if you know what this is, I mean, uh, I'd be very thankful um, if you could share that information with me, and maybe I could end this uh, foolishness of the John Deere tractor, because uh, I don't want to spend days um, messing with this thing anymore. And uh, it's just not worth my time or aggravation. So anyway, that's enough blabbling on. And uh, you helped me get this running. And then, um, you know, I could take a little ride. See on the streets.